Hi guys, I'm Patrick WWDC and welcome to another episode of Learn iOS 9 Programming. We are here in our Xcode beta and today we are going to do some basics of MapKit. So what you want to do is go to Storyboard, create just new, new controller, call it the map view. This is not going to be in the final application. We just want—I just want to show it to you now, and later we are going to use it. So just do the storyboard ID map view, and then we want to present it. So how do we actually present it? So what we want to do is grab the storyboard, grab the view controller with the identifier and just present it it's that simple if it doesn't crash okay there we go so grab the storyboard UI storyboard name main, it's called main, and bundle, uh, oh, what, <laughs> okay, and bundle is, no, let's grab the view controller, equal to storyboard, this board identifier is map view, and then we want to do present, View controller animate it false. No. I don't want any animation, and we want that to occur just after the animation is done. So how do we do it? Well, we can use completion value pool value just gives us if it was successful, and I like to delete this white space uh, just and paste that here now I want to create another class map view view controller why not sure and then just assign one to another when it loads here go to here and the map view your controller and open assistant editor and go to automatic here map view the controller come on what's the problem I don't want now here we go so first things first let's get the map kit view I'm sorry, it's a little bit laggy, I need to clear my computer. And just add simple constraints and here, map view. And there is an error. What would it be? Undeclared identifier. What we want to do is Port map kit a good old friend. Basically, we just want to make some simple stuff like shows user location true map view delegate true and we have problem can sign value of type group oh so. But we will probably have no error. But still, we need to do a map and k map view delegate so that works. We also want to import core location and create variable location manager equal 
crucial location manager manager location manager crucial location manager location manager dot desired accuracy is equal to qc location accuracy best the location manager delegate and then add the delegate see our location manager delegate location manager requests always authorization and then location manager start updating location and I run location manager did update to location new location from location old location and Let's just let the simulator run. We can maybe add a slug. Location updated. And let's just zoom on the region. So what we want to have? Set the region. We need to have a region. region center and span CL location coordinate okay so there was a crash but let me explain what I did here so we created the region let's do that and that is that it doesn't want to ask you can I use the location for some weird reason. So what you do is go to info but property list and add the new variable and this location. Actually let's wait and see how it does on my device. Okay so let's Try it out this time on my device. It's going to work better. At least I hope so. Topping, compiling, best catalogs, stuff things. Now, for some reason, it's so slow today. Succeeded installing and it's here. Let's open it. Come on. Okay, so here we are, just to check the recording is here. Okay, let's click get started. And it should display map and trying to start map kit location updates. Not prompting location authorization must call. Request when you use or request always. So, what do we do? Okay, so let's try it again and let's hope that this time it won't crash. So last time we got trying to start map kit. More than that. But now I added NS location always usage description. I want to have your location. And now it asks me do I want I want to have your location. This is exactly what it says right here. So I say allow and it zooms in on me. And that's the basics of MapKit. I hope you enjoyed this video. I spent like one hour recording this.
and I really hope you like it. And yeah, I'll see you next week on another one. Goodbye.